In this presentation, we're going to add a credit card account and a credit card liability amount into our accounting system. Let's zoom into it with zero. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to be opening up our balance sheet first. Let's go to the accounting drop down and go on down to the balance sheet report. As that opens up, we're going to then right click on the tab up top and duplicate that tab. This is going to be our balance sheet thus far. We've been entering those beginning balances in. Now we're thinking about the beginning balance related to the credit card. So we basically have two objectives we have once again. We're going to hold down control, zoom in just a bit, get it up to that one, two, five. That's where we like to be. We're going to be down here. We want to have a credit card liability account. Should be showing up down here somewhere in the current liability accounts. And we also want the beginning balance in it. So if we look at our balance sheet as a last time period, well, like we say, we might have a, a, a balance sheet from last period as we do here that we need to enter in and that'll be our starting point. And or we might just simply have a credit card that's already outstanding and we got to enter that beginning balance information into the system so that we could start to reconcile and track the credit card information, put those transactions into the system. One of the other things that often is a little bit challenging for uh, small businesses or startup businesses and, and whatnot, tracking those credit cards, right? So we're going to be down here. We're in the credit cards. We have $1,000 on the credit card. Now, similar to with the bank accounts, uh, if you pay off the credit card each month, it's a little bit easier, clearly, for the accounting system to be dealing with because then it, you know, it goes up and we just simply pay it off on a monthly basis. When we have an outstanding ba balance, however, then it gets more complicated. We want to make sure that we're tracking this information so that we put the transactions in the system as we're using the credit card, getting the expenses in the system as they are incurred, and then recording and being able to reconcile that outstanding balance that's going to that's gonna be due couple different ways you could do that you could use a liability account or a reconciliation process so that's the two things we need to do set the account up put that beginning balance in and also think about how we're going to track that beginning balance as we go also note that the credit cards are another kind of area that are driven by financial institutions and therefore oftentimes has a bank feed kind of feature to it so you can set up then the credit cards as basically a, a bank feed type of feature in a similar fashion as you would with the bank accounts rather than just a normal current liability account. So let's just consider those those options. If I go back over here uh, to our zero, we're going to go back to the first tab then, back to the first tab. And we'll think about first, let's, I'm going to hold down control and zoom out a bit. because And just note if you're selecting this drop down and you don't see all the uh, options, try zooming out to 100% because funny things happen when you're trying to do data input and you're at uh, a zoom other than <laughs> the 100 percent so we could go down here you'll note we have the checking account up top we want like a liability account so we want it like in the liability section over here we could go to this tab and say we, we would like a liability which would be the credit card which should be some kind of current liability uh, that you would think would be up top now you could say all right well i could just add an account here so we have these two options we could use either one of them we could simply add the account and we'd, we would want to have the account type as not an asset but a liability type of account and try to set it up as a current liability. And then if we did that, we just need to track our, our outstanding balance and our payment in a current liability format. However, you might want to set it up as a bank account type because you might want to later set up the bank feeds uh, related to it. So again, we're going to enter the transactions just normal into the system and then consider the banking uh, related to it. So let's go and say, well, what if we did the bank account and we add the bank account and say that our institution or our credit card is with some bank and let's put like American Express and see American, uh, American Express. So I'll see, uh, and notice American Express is basically uh, a bank account, I mean, is, is basically just for the, you know, a credit card. Uh, bank accounts could be a Visa MasterCard might be running through an institution or whatnot. So I'm just going to pick one and you're going to have those similar kind of bank feed options that you might have. So I'm just going to call the account name credit card at this point. So we'll say credit card and the account code and I believe this is going to be the account number. And if I look at the chart of accounts, let's go ahead and right click and duplicate this tab and take a look at the chart of accounts to see if we can pick up what an appropriate account number would be. So I'm going to go to the uh, drop down. We're going to then go to the chart of accounts. I'm going to go to the liabilities tab and I'm looking for a, a code number here. So we have the accounts payable. 
and then the gift. So here's 2000 and 2000. Let's say like 2052 or something like that. So I'm going to go back over here and say 2052. And then we have the credit card number. I'm just going to give it uh, some digits here and the USA. Let's see if that'll, that'll let us uh, create this account. So I'm going to continue with that. Next screen says uh, enter your American Express card details. Log in with the Okay, I just closed out that last screen and see if it would add it because I don't want to set up the, the connection and it did add it here. So if I go back then to the first tab and we go to the chart of accounts, the accounting drop down and take a look at the chart of accounts and I go back to the first section. If I search the accounts by basically account code, I can go down and I, I labeled that as uh, 2052. Here it is, the credit card. Now the tricky thing here is that we set it up still basically as a bank account here because it, it's set up to to be able to track the bank feeds and show up in the bank account settings. So the account type you would think would be like a credit card account type or a current liability account type. So that kind of might throw you off a bit, but we we set it up as the as the bank account because that's how you know it, it, the bank account has the bank feeds and therefore you could set up the credit cards using the bank feeds and therefore you have to set it up kind of like as a as a bank account. Okay, so now. We have our account set up. Now we need to put that initial balance in there, that $1,000 that is currently due at this point. So to do that, let's go to the plus by item up top. And we're going to say that there's money going out. So I'm going to say spend money. And instead of it going out of the checking account, it's going to go out from the credit card. So it's going to be going out from the credit card account. And then I'm going to say next. And then I'm just entering the beginning balance. I'm just going to put owner here. So I'm going to put owner because we need someone to go out to. I'm going to put description. I'm just going to put the opening balance, opening balance. And then the date, I'm going to bring this on back to uh, December 31st, 2019. So not January, but December 2019. So it's going to go into the prior period. The quantity, I'll say one and the amount 1000 then the other side of the account we're going to put to the retained earnings once again so it's kind of a double check we could put it to an expense account and then it would roll into retained earnings but we could put it directly into retained earnings here as well so i'm going to type in retained earnings so now it's going directly into the retained earnings for that thousand dollars let's go ahead and save this and then we'll take a look at the financial statement so i'm going to save that see if it does the recording so it looks like it did so now i'm going to go back up to the balance sheet and then i'm going to update the balance sheet report and if we scroll down we have the checking account and then we have the credit card down below now you, you might be asking you know what how, how can it be putting the credit card down here in the liability section when we called it a bank account type so and this was this is a question i was asking but maybe you're probably asking that you could be asking if you're asking that question uh and we go down to the chart of accounts you're kind of saying well wait a second because we set this up, it didn't label it as a different account type. It, it didn't put it into the liability section. It put it into basically, if I if I go by account type and search by account type here, it put it into the to the credit card. How can that? It's in the bank account, which you which is an asset by definition, you would think, right? But it, what they're saying here, I think this is how this is working. It's saying, well, yeah, it's going to be set up as a bank account, so it can use all the rules of the bank feeds and the reconciliation transactions. But there's a default that, that says, hey, whenever the bank account goes like negative, meaning if you overdrew the checking account, the system will just flip it from a, from a current assets to a current liability. That's just part of the rules of the banking account. And obviously the credit card is always negative. It's always what we owe somebody else. So we're, we're always going to have a negative number in there. So it's kind of like this is a, the system is seeing this as, as far as I can see as a negative asset account, a negative bank account, an overdrawn like bank account, you can think of it. And therefore, even though we put it as a bank type, it's going to flip it down here and put it under the current liabilities, given the fact that we owe the money out. So I believe that's how uh, this is working. There's that $1,000 uh, in the banking section. It's not going to be affecting the income statement. So like the other side's in, in the retained earnings. It's included in this retained earnings. We put it into the retained earnings directly. So if we scroll down through here, we see the thousand that we have put into retained earnings right there. And then if I go back up top and we go back, then if we look at the income statement, I'm going to go to the prior tab over here and pull up an old income statement, go into the accounting dropdown, accounting dropdown, and look at the income statement. 
for 2020, there's nothing in there. And that's what we want. Nothing's in 2020 because we're going to start from scratch and enter the current data into the income statement. Then if we go back to the first tab and take a look at our dashboard, just to see what the effect is on the old dashboard. Uh, we have the information down here. We see the credit card, uh, the credit card information here and the zero ba balance. So you can think about any time you want to set up the bank feeds. You can add the bank feeds there and you have the three dots for the more options with relation to to these items. So this might be a, another shortcut that you might be using directly related to the credit card information.